Sup, y'all? Bring you guys another video. So, yeah, we have an undisputed champion at 135 pounds. No more arguments of whether the WBC belt is real, this or that. Because if you guys don't know, going to this fight, even though Cambosos holds the WBA, IBF, WBO, and WBC franchise belts, people still disputed his position as undisputed champion of the world because of that WBC belt. Uh, because Haney holds the regular version of the WBC belt. But now that we have a winner, which is Devin Haney, and rightfully so, he is now the true undisputed champion of the world. No more disputes. We have ourselves an undisputed champion. 118, 110, 116, 112, 116, 112, all in favor of Devin Haney. Um, I had it nine rounds to three in favor of Devin Haney. Some people had a shout out, this and that, but I tried to give the closest rounds that you could give to uh, Cambosos, and I gave him three rounds. Four is kind of pushing it, giving Cambosos four rounds. I think it's a little pushing it, but you know, at least they got the right man winning. And that's Devin Haney. Devin Haney did a very good job picking his shots, using the jab, be beating uh, Combosos to the punch with that jab with that long reach. Um, I feel like Combosos was fighting Devin Haney's fight, thinking too much in there, trying to out trying to box Devin Haney from a distance, trying to you know outsmart him, trying to outthink him. Devin Haney clearly is the better boxer, and trying to better trying to be the better boxer against him. Was not the right game plan from Combosos. Combosos should have tried to go to this, tried to go in the inside, and when Devin Haney would hold him, you know, try to rough him up, try to push him, try to rough him up in the inside. That's what he should have been doing round after round, especially after the first three rounds when he realized that he was probably not the better boxer. He should have changed up the game plan and fight in the inside or rough up the inside. I mean, I know Haney would hold him in the inside, but you know, try to rough him up, try to rough him up, but. You know, Combosos um, kept trying to do the same thing, trying to land a big right hand. And he did land it a couple times. He landed it clean. But Devin Haney ate it like it was nothing. <laughs> so, so, um, so yeah, it was, it was definitely a clear win from Devin Haney. He did a very good job boxing, in my opinion. And, um, and yeah, he clearly is the better boxer. And, and now we have to watch this fight again uh, <laughs> in the fall or winter. Because if you guys don't know, there is a rematch clause, uh, and the rematch clause, um, it, the agreement is for the rematch to take place in Australia. I don't know if they can change that up. Um, uh, you know, if it's gonna be in Australia, I'm sure they can't pack out a big crowd like this again, forty thousand plus people. I don't think they're gonna get another forty thousand plus people inside an arena to watch this event. And um, <laughs> yeah, it. Uh, I mean, props to Australian fans for showing up, man. I mean, we got to give them props. But I got to say, man, based on the broadcast, the Australian fans were pretty quiet. I felt like if if the Australian fans were loud and loud and just cheering and cheering for George, I felt like Com Combosos, George Combosos would have done better. And maybe the, the judges would have given him those, you know, I guess more closer rounds. And it could have been controversial if those Australian fans were louder. Um, but you know, there, there are some moments where you could, you could even hear the, the, the coaches screaming and, you know, giving instructions, uh, at least, you know, from the broadcast we were watching, which is the ESPN one, you know, I felt like, you know, the, the Australian crowd failed George Combosos here, I, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, they, they were quieter than I expected. Um. Man, I can't blame them too because, you know, George wasn't really being successful offensively. So I guess there wasn't really anything to cheer for. But, you know, they could have been just a bit loud, singing, cheering. You know, I guess it's a little different compared to the uh, British British fight fans. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and another thing. Uh, uh, Michael Buffer kind of ruined the, the announcement of the winner. He kind of just gave it out that... George, that George Combosos lost, that Devin Haney's won the fight. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's nice to see Michael Buffer, man, but uh, maybe he's getting a little too old for the job now. I mean, he still has that famous catch, uh, you know, let's get ready to rumble. 
um, but but yeah, he's getting he's getting old, and he's he's pretty expensive from what I've uh, been reading. So um, so who knows if this could be his last major boxing event? Maybe they might. I mean, he seems strong still for a seventy plus year old. So maybe it's not the end yet for Michael Buffer, but he is expensive from what I've heard. Um, holy shoot! It's already one in the morning. Oh my god! No wonder I'm so tired. Uh, <laughs> All right. So with this loss, uh, George suffers his first loss in his pro career. Um, twenty and one now. It's not the end of the world. I mean, he's twenty eight years old. Learn from it. He can still. He's still one of the best fighters at one thirty five pounds. I'd love to see him in there against one of the top uh, against top fighters at one hundred thirty five pounds. Like I said, there's a rematch clause, so George can elect to exercise that rematch clause, which I think he will, and uh, we will see the rematch. Uh, before the end of the year in Australia again, um, which honestly I, I I'd much rather see them move on because it's clear to me that George is, I mean that, that Devin Haney is the better fighter between the two, the better boxer between the two, um, and I don't really think George has what it takes to change things up and uh, win a rematch against Devin Haney. In my opinion, Devin Haney now the undisputed champion of the world holds 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 all the four belts. I would like to see him try to fight the guys. The other champ, the former champions, um, you know, Teofimo Lopez. Uh, well, I think Teo is definitely moving up to 140, but eventually fight Teo. Um, Vasily Lomachenko would love to see him fight Vasily. Javante Davis. Hopefully, we get to see that fight. You know, I, there, there's a reason why this undisputed fight for undisputed status feels so underwhelming. It's mainly because. Um, Oh, Kome too is another good fight, Kome. Uh, but yeah, the, only re the reason why it felt so underwhelming is because the belts already have been collected. It's not as if, you know, we have a fighter who collected belt after belt after belt. Like uh, when, when uh, uh, what's his name, Crawford did it at 140 pounds, when Canelo did it at 168, uh, when uh, Josh Taylor did it at 140, you know... It's it has a different feeling because the belts have been collected already. When Teofimo kind of defeated um, Vasily, I felt like that was like the the moment where you know we had like a, somewhat of an undisputed champion. I know it was still being disputed because of the WBC belt being a franchise, this and that. But you know, this I think I felt like that's the reason why it felt so underwhelming. But I'd still love to see Devin Haney fight the big names at 135 pounds, fight Lomachenko, which I think will eventually happen. Um, Ryan Garcia, hopefully, um, Isa Cruz, hopefully, Kame. I feel like under top rank because I think they said he has three fights left with top rank. So in those three fights, I'm guessing right now he will fight George Combosos in the rematch, and then he will fight Richard Kame. After that, and then he will fight Lomachenko to top it off in the end of his contract with top rank. I think those are the three fights we will be seeing next for Devin Haney. Just because those are the most realistic fights from uh, you know a political point of view in the sport of boxing because of politics in the sport of boxing um, those are in in-house fights for for top rank well George Combosos fight is working with uh, Lou Debella but you know Kame versus Loma and the Lomachenko fight are definitely inside more of inside house fights for uh, top rank um, so don't be surprised if those are the fights next for Devin Haney uh, Kame well Combosos Junior Rematch, Kame, and Lomachenko. So anyway, like I said earlier, it's 1 in, one in the morning. I need to go to bed. Um, I'm, I feel tired, bro. I really do. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and I, I, I was planning to watch the Showtime fights right now and make videos about those, but I, I, I don't have the energy. So I'll probably watch it in the morning when I wake up. So if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it. Oh, and there was like a lot of commotion too during... during during, after the fight, after the uh, uh, announcement of the winner, you see Bill Haney, and I gotta say, man, I didn't make a video about it um, uh, because I've been busy all week uh, in real life. Um, but B Bill Haney being allowed to go to Australia, uh, you know, I, it's cool of them to be able to to allow him to go, uh, even though it was last minute. At least he was able to make it to uh, be there and be by his son's side, and. Um, you know, witness his son be the uh, undisputed champion of the world. So, congrats to uh, Devin Haney again on the win. 
Uh, I'm happy there were no controversies. I was, uh, you know, going to this fight. I had a funny feeling that it would be uh, controversial, but uh, turns out it wasn't. Um, but you know, eight, eight rounds to four for fa favor of uh, George. You know, it's pretty close if you ask me. So, uh, if George, like I said, if the crowd was cheering on George, the crowd would have influenced the judges. And if it's George, probably had a little bit more success. Um, you never know with them judges, right? You just never know. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.